Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make animations. You can do this with all your pixel characters. But for this episode, I thought, why not use Pokemon? Now, as you know, there are a lot of Pokemon. So, which Pokemon should I choose? Well, I only have the original 151. So, we're going to pick a good small one that has actual stuff for us to control. Not like Magnemite or Diglett. And we're going to avoid ones like Caterpie. They actually have, it's actually would hard, harder with that one. So, you could probably find what you're looking for for those kinds of things in their actual in game animations. So, what did I pick for this one? You get it. Execute! I'm just kidding. What well, a real pick is. You probably didn't know it. You probably didn't guess it. It's. Machop! Right here. So first, these are you're going to need. All your Pokemon and templates. So let's just a blank white should be just a blank 480 by 360 screen. Now, first, we're going to have to open paint. It's the easy step. My, my, this might be a little complicated. We're gonna have to open. So, so go to your desktop, pick that you decided. Now, what we're gonna do is start out with the slider. Now, this is at the bottom, so we shouldn't use this bottom slider right here. So, what we're gonna do is use this slider to leave. Only this chunk. See down there? Little, little Machop is right at the end. Now, if we remove anything else, shop is gone. So what we're gonna do is take the bitty, little bitty section with Machop in it, copy it, and then we're gonna make, and then we're gonna resize this entire image be teensy tiny using the sliders and paste them in the Now, how are we going to do this? First, we're going to remove that weird thing. The weird color. Now, we're going to have to separate its body parts. Now, what you would want to do is separate it and, like, join joints sort of like where the body would bend so like this you do that for one leg and the other and we're starting with the legs are gonna be easy So we're gonna do the exact same process with our other leg. Now, hope you're falling on on yours. Now that we've decided where our joints were, we're gonna do our. This is where a complicated part comes in. And select our head. But oh look. Here's where the complicated part comes in. The hands in the way. And parts in the neck. So what we're gonna do is just erase everything we don't want in the picture. And look at this. You have a little dent in it now. So we can quickly sketch in an area 
and then take the color that the background was and around that area and fill it in and boom got a hat got it now we're st now we're gonna do that same arm no don't work it won't be too difficult after we do the arm you can delete both the arm and the head so of course we're gonna to erase all the excess and here we go and we all need skim off one don't be afraid to make some fine tuning just to make it look some bit better we're gonna make one copy where we move this part and then left over we'll remove the rest so now we should have some pretty good body parts now I realize this might seem overcomplicated it's just an early step why do we need all this well it all makes sense later so then we're gonna have to just cut out those parts we've only gotten some parts left now with this belly or we can't really do much with the belly so we're gonna copy and paste the belly so it looks like a butt the only arm yeah we're gonna just copy it and on this one just completely remove the arm even just a button and then the other one first step do the exact opposite actually wait see so look doesn't just look right if we just remove it so yeah earlier today the reason I'm actually the only the reason I decided to go today is that earlier today apparently summer is gonna be I willing to uh, meet and greet for high school because the summer is already over and we only have one long weekend so I have to upload a video gotta upload a video until before summer's over I just have to it just feels like a need okay now you've separated it into these parts see this is the first step to making your animation what we're gonna do we're gonna go to oh save as and we're gonna name it much shop And the chat part, it doesn't matter. We didn't do any shift there. So there you have it. This is the first part of making your animations. Separating out the body parts. Later, I'm going to show you how to separate. I'm going to going to separate all these body parts into different images that way we won't have to do that later but we can do it later and let me just explain the process as we have some time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reassemble these body parts in the 
program. That way we can rotate each part and move it around the stage to make a nice little animation. Now just a quick tip, this won't cover facial animations, but if you ask me but if you bug me enough, I mean ask me enough, then I might make a tutorial on that after the series. So see you later.